Hello everyone, this is Lorraine, and today I am coming to you with my next um, nail polish review. And um, I'm going to use two colors for this manicure, and the first one is Butter London. I've never used Butter London. I showed, um, I've never had Butter London until the, um, I showed my Ulta haul, the 21 Days of Beauty um, this one is called Gobsmack. They had these on one of the beauty steals for $9. So I picked up four of these. And then the other color that I'm going to use is this um, Rock Candy Nail Glaze by Julep. And I'm not really sure what's supposed to be different about it. This one is um, Marie. And this is from the American Beauty Profile. It looks very sheer. And I swatched like one coat, which you can barely see it here on camera. So, so since it looks so sheer, I'm just going to do the this color on maybe just do one nail because I am really tired. I came back in town for my trip Sunday and I've just not been feeling feeling too hot. So, I, I'm, I know... I look really tired and I'm still feeling pretty tight pretty tired and um I really wanted to try this one to see how the formula works and how just how what's different about it but just doing that swatch I'm in no mood to try and apply three four three coats so I'm just going to do this one probably just on my ring finger as my accent so and then do gobsmack by butter london on the rest of the nails and i'm just going to do the right and the left hand the same way so i'm going to go ahead and get started the first thing that I, i'm finding that i don't really care for about butter london which i guess i mean i guess it shouldn't be too much an issue it's just how you open it you ha it doesn't since it is square. Although I've got some square bottles, the way they have it, the cup, the top comes down onto the lip of the bottle. So you have to pull up first in order to twist. I mean, it's nothing major, just a slight annoyance for me. But so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the nail polish application. And you can tell I've cut my nails down some. Um, when I came back, I had two, my th both of my thumbs. This one just had a, a like a piece on the side that was cracked and that, that kept bending in. And this one was like literally broken like all the way down. And it was like a big peat flap hanging off that kept getting snagged. So I just decided just to cut them all down a little bit shorter. Not sh It's not short by any means, but shorter than what I had. So I'm going to start with um, Marie by Julep. And you can see it is really sheer. It doesn't seem like there's anything with the brush. This act brush actually looks a little bigger than the, than normal so I guess we'll see but as usual I'm going to start off by painting the free edge of the nail which um, this just helps prevent chipping because when your chipping starts it will start at the free edge so if you have um, when you don't have the polish on the free edge it will when it does start chipping, it will start chipping on the polish that's on your nail bed. So at least if you paint when you paint the free edge, it is like a protective barrier so that when you do get any type of chipping or anything, it will just be it will start at the free edge of the nail and not um, on the regular nail bed. So this one, this brush actually spreads better than. Um, Simone did for me and it is like translucent I don't see <laughs> I don't see anything 
at all. It just looks like I put on um, a clear top coat. Like, you can't tell that I just applied a coat of polish onto my ring finger. So, um, I don't know if it's supposed to dry darker or what. But, slightly disappointed. Because, <sighs> this is going to take like a buttload of coats just for you to get to see this color. So, I'm going to try and do two coats. But, um, if, I mean, if after two coats it's still invisible like a top coat, I'm just going to take it off because I'm just in no mood. You know, ain't nobody got time for all that. I'm just not in the mood, <laughs> um, you know, to have to do a billion coats. So I'm going to move on to Gobsmacked. Which I want to say, um, I've seen my my simple little pleasures. She, um, I found out about this color through her, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this one, and hopefully, this will be this will be a much you know much better application. I mean, granted, you will see it just because it is darker, but this is like chock full of glitter so um <clears throat> can't really say for sure how densely packed the glitter is and if it's like just gonna be like easily spread which it looks like it's going on pretty well but let's see this is definitely going to be a two coat because I don't just do not want my bare nails to really show through. So this one, you know, which doesn't bother me because I'm I normally generally do two coats, but you can see, I mean, this is just really pretty, really sparkly, even with just the one coat. And it does apply really nicely. You know, it's they're fine glitters. So, I, there's no, like, a lot of glitters, especially if you use chunky glitters. It is, it it's a hassle sometimes trying to get them to, you know, kind of spread. And, like, you know, so they're not just gloppy. And then that, part of that um, issues with the, how well it applies, does depend upon, like, the size of the glitter, but also the um, base color that the glitter is suspended in. If, you know, I don't know if it depends, on, like, it depends on how thick the base color is or how thin and runny it is, you know, or just basically the consistency of the base color that the glitter is in depends, may may have a you know effect upon how well <clears throat> excuse me how well the polish actually um the glitter applies so i really like how this one applies. I mean, it goes on pretty even for a glitter. It's nice and sparkly, which you can see as the light hits it. And um, it's just a really nice color. Um, I was so hoping that this purple by um, Jula was going to be able to have more color than what is showing so I'm gonna try I'm gonna go ahead and try to do my second coat now just so I can show you apparently the lack of opacity because I don't see it getting any darker I mean it's literally like it it is the second coat is darker, but not dark enough to where it's like a tinted. 
it's just like a tinted color like looks like I'm wearing one of those nudes or it looks more like a um, nail treatment that that I applied to my nails like when you have like the ridge filler um, treatments so it's pretty thick looking and um, not really happy with that because I was hoping that the lilac purple color would actually show more so this means I'm gonna have to do like a billion coats for this to really show up with any type of purpleness because right now it just looks like a thick sheer white polish like a treatment like I said it looks like um, like when you have the ridge filler or something like that I mean it even looks so I don't know if I'm gonna keep this on I mean I'm I mean it looks slightly purple but it just really doesn't look like I have on anything just I might just keep it on just because I've already applied the two coats of it and I really don't feel like taking it off and figuring out another color to pair with this so um, so I don't know but I do really like um, gobsmacked by by um, Butter London and it actually dries pretty quickly this as you can see I'm rubbing over cross of it and there's no um, it's not messing up the polish. I didn't put any fingerprints in it. Didn't move it around. So um, I really do like that about the Butter London. So next time they have a sale, um, I'm definitely probably going to have to ch get some more of them. Although I have so many colors now that I'm finding that with new brands that I've not purchased, it's hard to find a color that I don't already have either the exact same color or something similar to it so um, that's the only problem when you have so much polishes is finding something different now if I were newly starting out with nail polish then you know it would be a lot easier because it took me a while trying to decide what colors to get just because every most of the colors that they had while they were pretty um i had i already had something very similar to it and i'm trying to not have a lot of duplicate polishes so this one i really really liked it's just, it's just really pretty, really reflective, and um, it almost makes me want to wear it without anything, any stamping or anything over top of it. It's just that pretty. Like, even in my horrible lighting, you can see how the light hits it, and it's just sparkly. This would be like a beautiful, you know, New Year's Eve color if you did not want to wear, you know, like a traditional gold or silver for New Year's this would be like really pretty like you know like a disco ball almost so I really am pleased with Butter London how well this polish applies um, how beautiful the glitter translates and the shimmer because some of them they look great in the bottle but just looks boring and it doesn't translate over to the actual nail once you apply it now this one total opposite I would purchase more so um, very happy with the butter London not very pleased with um, with the julep the outcome of the lack of opacity um, but it is shiny as you can see it is pretty shiny but it's just doesn't have enough of the purple color translating onto your nail but I mean what can you what can you do so um so that's the polish review
I'm not going to add anything else or come back since I just did already showed you the, how they look with two coats. So, um, so thank you for watching. Um, hopefully this was helpful. So if anyone else who has a subscription to Julep or purchased their the spring mystery box and you got this color, Maria, Marie, the Rock Candy Nail Glaze, or if you got another color that's this brand, I would love to um, see and see the video, your video, or, you know, let me know in the comments how, if you, if it's the same formula and consistency as this one, I mean, it goes on well, it just doesn't really uh, have much color, so I'd be interested to see if anyone else um, with their thoughts on it are on the Julep Rock Candy Nail Glaze. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Stay polished at all times. And I will see you in my next video, which um, after I finish my nails, I'm going to go ahead and do the stamping. So since this one's so sheer, I'm probably going to do a design that really, you know, doesn't show the base color as much over this one just because it just doesn't look like anything. So, that's it. This video is already longer than what I hoped it would be. So, thank you for watching. Have a great day.